Welcome to Shimano's in-depth video on PowerPro knots and connections. Today we're going to be teaming up with Shimano Pro staffers Justin Pro and Ted Sakai and showing you exactly how to make your connections and tie knots for going from PowerPro to monofilament and PowerPro to fluorocarbon. There are only a few go-to knots that we recommend, including the Double Uni, the Albright, and the Bob Sands. So let's join Justin and Ted and take the mystery out of making PowerPro knots and connections. Proudly brought to you by Shimano, makers of the finest fishing tackle in the world. Fish with the best, fish Shimano. And by PowerPro. Experience the PowerPro advantage. PowerPro, proven power. Due to the unique characteristics of PowerPro, we literally wanted to share with you four or five different connections to go from PowerPro to monofilament or PowerPro to fluorocarbon. These really should be your go-to knots. And there's only four or five of them. They're pretty basic. We want to show you them right now. So you start with the line parallel to itself, the fluorocarbon and the power pro, you basically tie a four turn uni in the fluorocarbon. Four times through. Now this knot, you know, there's been a lot of drawings and pictures of it, but it's really never been shown live before that we're aware of. It's got great application for any time you want to get the line going through the guides really easy. And snug up that uni just a little bit. You don't want to, you don't want to tighten it too much but uh, just want to snug it up so it doesn't move much. And you take and you make a little loop of Power Pro. And you pinch it back in your finger just so you hold that loop because you're going to use that loop later. And you wrap down towards the end of the floor carbon and to your left. And you're going to want to you keep the loops kind of together but you don't have to do them too tight. If you do them too tight you're going to not be able to cinch up the knot quite right. You want to go 12 times to the left then you pinch it there and you're going to want to go 12 times back down to the right and you kind of want to lay the alternating layers of line back between them you know that way they'll line up all right and they'll cinch down real good and when you're done with those 12 wraps you take the tag end of the power pro and uh, you put it through the loop that you saved earlier then you snug it back and you pull it all back. It's important when you're pulling knots, you don't want to you don't want to pull it separate. You want to you want to basically pull it all back together on itself. And you alternate between the tag end and the standing line on the Power Pro just to make sure it stays nice and neat when you're pulling it back. You end up with big loops of knot. You can see it kind of working itself together there. It kind of rolls back down on itself, which is really nice. Now from here you grab both and snug them up real good. Nice and tight. And there you take the take the uni and you can actually trim that floor carbon right up there. And from here you wrap back and you trim that power pro. And that is your Bob Sands knot. Fish with the best, Power Pro, and Hollow Ace, the finest braided microfilament lines in the world. 